Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have another 12 by 12 layout for you. I decided to continue to scrap these photos of my daughter wearing nothing but her favourite necklace and so it's a continuation of last week's layout. I saw these photos and I thought no, I've just got to show that not only did she take off her clothes and walk down the stairs but she actually had a day of just walking around in a necklace and playing. So in the photos I'm documenting, she is walking her, I don't know, one of her toys in her pram and she's also playing with the little tennis thing. So I will be using these Sissex Thinnet styes, which I will use, well, I'm going to cut them out on some scrap white paper that I did add some clear gesso to and I'm also did a lot of fussy cutting from the Scrap the Boys paper and the paper was called Dream Garden. So as you see, I'm just showing you all the fussy cutting I did and all my little uh, die cuts that I cut out with those gorgeous dies from oh, Sis Sizzix and which I got from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. So these are all the products I'll, I got out of my stash. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I've got out my Distress Inks, I've got out some water paints, my old gelatos, and this is where I tend to usually put my little water water paints. So I added some red there and then I mixed it in with some white water paint and I did that because I wanted to make a sort of pinky colour. Now I've got some other pinks and reds there, I'm just in the colour on my little palette there. I land up adding some more white because it wasn't light enough. I was taking the inspiration from the, the colours in the, not in the photo but so much the colours in the um, Scrap the Boys Dream Garden paper. So that's when I, what I've just done now is I thought that the pink was good enough and I watered it down with some, just some water with those, you know, those little watercolour pens that you add the water to and I just kept playing around with this little die cut and painting it, adding on, adding on paint whenever I saw necessary until I liked the colour. So they're my four done. And then I'm going to do the inside, well I'm going to use this as the inside and I just land up doing it just a little bit darker so that once it sits on that lovely little flower that I died cut before it's just going to do like a bit of an accent. So liking that and I land up putting that aside and working on the other four. So I am going to apologise, this video is going to probably be a little bit longer than what I normally do because there was a lot of work that went into this layout. I must confess that this layout and the one previous really were a labour of love. I really wanted this layout to be special because it's something that I want to remember forever and it's one of my little daughter's little quirks which I think it's quite funny and I for some reason I really put a lot of effort so I'm working on my little third flower now all these flowers that you see here they are from the that oh is it the Tom Tim Holtz no the Finlets anyway that I showed you earlier the Sizzix and I'm now going to be adding some gelato so I just put it on my mat and I wanted the the some of the flowers to be lighter some darker and different shades of pinks so there I go, I go. I land up bringing back this little one here and adding a little bit of purple to it because, you know, as things dry, the colour does tend to change a bit. So I land up just working on it and basically I spent hours doing this but it was very relaxing and I enjoyed it and it was something different. By no means am I a... Well, I'm not a painter and I wouldn't even consider myself to be a very good watercolourist or even a co to colour in. But I really enjoyed the process and anyone can do it. You just have to take the time and relax and enjoy the process. So I did that with all the, with all the flowers. I just kept mixing my little, my little shades so that I got different shades. And on my palette there, now this little thing that I've got here, it's from, from, it is an Australian product, it's from Colour Blast, but unfortunately they don't make it anymore and you can't get it. But lucky for me, I did buy all the colours that it were, it came in just before they took it out of stock. And I wanted a bit of sparkle, so I'm using one of my pink metallic 
pink metallic paints and just continue to working to work on my flowers so on this one, I'm going to do the same and obviously for this one because it's got some leaves I do end up adding some of the green and oh boy this did take a considerable amount of time as I said but loved every single minute of it so once again I'm mixing my colors and I'm going to be working now on my leaves and the inspiration for the colours of the leaves were also from that Scrap Boys paper and from the previous page. And the leaves had, in the other pages, they, they were green, but they had a greyish tone to it. That's why I mixed some of the, gel the grey gelatos with the green water paint. And I just painted my little leaf and tried to get variations of colours on it. I didn't want it all to be one solid green colour. And once again, I'm mixing some more grey with one of my Shimmers product from Colour Blast. And as I mentioned, you can't get these little little pots of shimmer anywhere. In Well, uh, Colour Blast aren't making them anymore, so I'm blessed to have them. And I'm now working on the smaller leaves that I, I used my, with my die cuts and I'm adding a bit more grey to those. So a little bit darker but more on the grey tones of green. So here I am and what am I doing? Oh yes, I'm now going to start gluing the little, the little, oh, the inner parts of the flower. I've, the centrepieces of the flower. Oh my gosh. Mental blank. And then I'm adding some of these gorgeous Nouveau crystal drops, I think I believe they're called, and I love the colour. So I just added it to some of the centre flowers, and then I got out these liquid pearls, and I believe this colour is called platinum, and I'm going to add it to the centres of the other flowers. Now this was a me just playing there was no none of this had been thought out I just went with it I had my die cuts I wanted to use them and I just thought you know what make some flowers and now I will admit that a lot of these flowers and the leaves and that don't actually make it onto the layout but it doesn't matter I had fun and this is when I decided that I wanted to put little dots on my flowers so I just put some of that uh, liquid pearls onto the mat and just used my little piercing tool to dot it on so here is everything it's all done I am really happy with the way everything turned out and look at those little dots absolutely lovely if I say so myself and my little flowers so I love the whole soft pastel theme that's going on here and love these little flowers too so that die cut I'm just going to try and make more and more different colored flowers so this is another paper from Kaiser Craft so next I pulled another piece of paper from my stash and this one is from Kaisercraft and it's it's from the Antiquitex collection. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. And the paper is called Leisure and I love the blue tones and all the different hues in it in this paper. Absolutely love it. So this is where I decided I wanted to cut it on the diagonal. I think I got my inspiration as I was last night trailing through pictures and pictures on pin interest and yeah I just thought oh I don't think I've ever done it a sort of half triangle page before so this is going to be my uh, attempt at it and let's see where this takes us so it did take me a while to work out how to cut it so the easiest way for me was to just fold the paper in diagonally in half and then use my ruler and a, a scalpel scalpel knife but anyway, whatever they're called, and just cut it. So I'm going to put it there. And for people that struggle with gluing this, because I know if I just put my double-sided tape and went and glued it, I would make a complete mess of getting on this on straight. So what I do is when I've, once I've got my double tape down, I like to fold the ends and then I line up my paper to the, all the corners and make sure everything is lined up sometimes this can be quite fiddly but once everything is lined up I just take those little corners and I pull them out and nothing moves so this is my little cheats way just to make sure that everything is perfect so my photos are back and I'm thinking what am I going to do with them and once again I go and look through my papers and this is the same paper that I used on the previous layout I believe it's the second page and it's from oh, Scrap Boys again Dream Garden oh it's 
and love it, love it, love it. So the Dream Garden Collection, I used it quite a lot in both layouts and I have matted my photos as you can see. And once again, I'm trying to get that lovely little basket of flowers onto a layout and spoiler alert, it does not make it onto this layout. I do like it. Now that I'm looking at the video, I do like it there. So I don't know why I took it off, but obviously while I was making it, I, it wasn't talking to me. It wasn't singing to my soul. So this is where I spent a considerable amount of time on my layout trying to get the placements of it. I don't normally work with a lot of embellishments, so this is very new to me and I must admit I did struggle and I was very undecisive. So what I'm going to do in the interest of trying to make this video as short as possible, I'm going to speed all this up so you're going to see my hands working super fast as I play with my embellishments and move them around and change their positions. With this page, I landed up using a lot of my stash. My room, let me tell you, was a mess. I had pulled out so many different items. I had a lot of fun, but then when I looked at the evidence the next morning, it was like, wow, what bomb went off here? So at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm going through my little box that has all my pink embellishments and I found some lovely stickers one that said hello sunshine and one that said go play outside which I thought would go really well with this layout and I landed up using the stickers by what I did was I stuck them on some scrap piece of cardstock and then did some fussy cutting and that way it allows me time to decide where I want to go and I can use them as an embellishment and move them around then as a sticker the way it was intended because I'm the type of person that changes her mind a lot. Anyone else out there like that? So I did pull out quite a few things from my little pink box and one of the other ones was a die cut that said sunshine and I loved it but I just couldn't make it pop at this point in time but I will eventually it just took a while and I also found some lovely little flowers that were just sitting there in a little packet and I believe they're from 49 and market I'm not 100% sure but I believe that's where they were from and I went oh yes I've got to use some of these I can't believe they've been sitting there unused but it's amazing what I've got in this room and then I forget all about it this is another one of the items that came out, and this is a Kaiser Craft booklet. I can't remember what collection it's from, but the colours were perfect for this layout. So I'm just going through everything, trying to decide what I was going to use, and I do end up finding this gorgeous pink strip of, um, or it's just a pink strip, and I thought, oh yes, this is going to look good. So once again, I am. Um, it's a sticker, so I've stuck it onto some scrap cardstock and I play around with it after I did a bit of fussy cutting. I left all the fussy cutting out because I was conscious of how long this video was. So I pulled out another one of my little paper pads and I found this gorgeous blue colour. It's got specks of gold and I thought, yes, I'm going to have to give my this photo here, the second photo, a, a second mat because I wanted to use that die cut that said sunshine and I couldn't make it pop so the only way that I could work out to make it pop was to match this photo for a second time and then I could layer that sunshine die cut on there and it is absolutely perfect and I love how it turns out. And once again, I'm playing with all my die cuts, moving everything around, but this is where things finally start to take shape and I play around with my little embellishments. I land up putting that little saying that says go play outside just above the photo where she is with the pram and this is the little strip that I'd cut out and that's exactly where it's going to go. I absolutely loved it there. Off camera, I did go and pull out the paper pad again and there was another same row of stickers, so I did exactly the same thing. And it's going to land up going on the right-hand side of the bottom, bottom photo so that it balances out. But I did that off camera and that way, you know, I am conscious of long videos. I tend to like shorter videos, so I try to make mine as short as possible. But in this 
layout there was a lot that was going on so I'm still playing with everything and adding some little flowers and then I went to my stash and I found these little wooden embellishments some little hearts and once again I'm playing with things from my little embellishment box so my, well I call it my little pink embellishment box and I had these little uh, enamel dots which I, I quite like how they looked there on the against the white but in in the, I ended up changing my mind and I ended up putting them in the centre of all the little flowers and I really liked how this looked in the end. It just added just a little touch of, oh, I was going to say class, but I'm going to go with class for lack of a better word. So still playing and I, I did move everything around for quite a bit, but in the end I just loved the placement of everything. And I'm pretty sure this is almost at the end. You will actually see that the next day I changed my mind and this is what it looked like. But the next day it was just too bare on the right hand corner. So you will see in the still photos that I actually went back to my little Back to my little uh, box of goodies or the pink box of embellishments and I'd added some bits and pieces to the corner. So this is how the whole double page layout looks now and as you can see now on the top right hand corner you've got another little cluster and I loved how that looked. So thank you everyone for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time take care everyone and I hope you're all coping with the crazy times that we're all living in and that everyone is safe and well. Bye everyone and I will see you soon.